Hi, you join us today at Lindholm Lakes. We're on beaches. We are gonna be fishing the short pole, so six meters. And that's not just six meters out in front, but four meters down the inside as well. So really we're just trying to find out what is in our immediate area. But today we're gonna to fish right at close quarters and show you how you can catch the fish that are right in front of you and how you can build a weight throughout five hours of a match or over a pleasure session. We'll show you some rigs that we're fishing out and the elastics we'll be using and also fishing tight in down the margin as well, hoping for some of them bigger fish. So let's see how the day goes and let's hope we catch some fish. Lovely little tench, first dobbin, just absolute perfection. This one's a little female, you can tell here because of the smaller pecs down the bottom there. But just like, what a beautiful little fish. I could catch these all day long. It's a great thing about these puller kits built into these super team poles so you can get rid of that excess elastic get the fish under control a lot quicker stop them charging off all over the lake oh nice little common a little f1 Nice little common doing the business on the on the short pole. That's what we want. A few of them smattered in between a load of tench and eyed and F1s, and you're gonna build yourself up a pretty nice weight, pretty sharpish. So fishing in close is great for many reasons. Firstly, the fish are already hungry, you know, they're in this closer part of the lake because they're hungry, they're coming into the edges, moving out and staying close in. So you know that they're already on the feed. Secondly, if the conditions change and the wind picks up, um, you're under control of the pole, you're in control of the float, and you're in control of how the bait goes into the water and you can drop it down into the peg really easily. So on the basis that these fish are already in here, we want to be able to create a bit of competition with those fish. So we don't want to be piling in loads of bait. We want a few fish coming in fighting for the bait, picking out the hook bait as quickly as possible. If I put in big pots of bait in there, you know, on a short line, we're gonna have loads of fish coming in. You're gonna to start to cause issues with things like liners, foul hooked fish. It's gonna take longer for your hook bait to get found. So when you're fishing in short like this, tiny little pot, pods of bait on the bottom with your hook bait sat directly over the top is gonna to get you the quickest bite. So a main line of attack, fishing close in, is going to be pellet, especially in summer like it is at the moment. Uh, the fish are feeding frantically, they want to eat as much as possible. I've got a mixture of two mil micros which I've soaked and then put some Scopex liquid with them. We've got four mil hard pellets which I'm going to feed as well and then we've got six mil, eight mil and then some soft hookers. So the six mil and eight mil are realistically what I'm going to be putting on the hook and the two mil and the four mil is what I'm going to be putting on the deck for them to feed over. You know, I'd be mad not to come here with some corn as well. So I've got some Scopex corn. We're just gonna ring the changes, see what works for the first couple of hours or so, and then try and formulate a plan and just work with the bait that's working out the best for us on the day. Because of the nature of beaches up at Lindholm, you've got such a huge diversity of fish in this lake. We've got eyed everywhere, 
you've got tiny little tents which you've seen on the camera so far and you've got a carp up to about 15 pounds so fishing on the deck over pellet you're going to pick up all of those fish and you don't want to be in a position where you're bumping fish but also you don't want to be in a position where you're losing fish because you're fishing too light in the elastic department so i'm fishing an 8 to 10 solid which is perfect we've got a puller bead on this pole section as well one of the great things about the super team uh, poles is that they come pre-cut with that so that's going to give me that cushion when I hook them smaller fish but it's also going to give me that security when I hook them bigger fish as well going straight into 020 mainline nice and robust as I said you know you're fishing short you're going to be in and around you know whatever's falling off the trees here so you want to make sure that you know your line's going to withstand any any sort of debris on the bottom we've got a 410 carp pellet float super high vis bristle perfect for this sort of fishing i'm only fishing four foot so i didn't feel the need to go up to a bigger float so this is perfect all the way down so we've got three number eights just strung out just there like that cocks this float perfectly down to a little six inch hook link so we're on 017 hook link there down to a size 14 uh, and we're fishing you know predominantly we're fishing hard pellets on a band but i might switch over with a bit, a bit of corn as well or maybe a soft hooker and that 14 is perfect for all of those and my margin rig so we've got a 14 to 16 elastic on there solid uh, it's really rooty along this margin here so then fish are coming through rooting around you know if you're hooking up with big fish they're shooting underneath roots going past all the debris that's falling off you know you want to be able to control them as quickly as possible and also once they go down this bank here there's no way to follow them so you're on you're on, you're on a four meter section of pole if that fish wants to go down there you've got to be able to hold it and hope that it comes out into the lake 020 main line on here as well down to the same float i'm fishing out in front which is the 410 carp pellet again down to three number eights just bulk shot down there get the bait down quickly you know, I'm fishing double corn down the inside. I want it down quickly because I don't want eyed picking that bait up on the way down. Same straight down to a six inch hook link and fishing a size 12. Yeah, eyed on there. Just, you know, a great pattern hook to fish eight mil banded pellet, double corn or a bit of paste if I choose. So those are my two rigs. They should cope with everything I'll hook today. Um, and let's see what that is going to be. gone straight into something I can still feel it on there. the fish is the fish has taken a float under gone straight around this corner which cuts right in and then underneath this bush is just a mass of roots so I am just trying to tease the fish out of the roots which is proving more difficult than I first envisaged because uh, I can't really see what's going on. You wouldn't really get away with doing this in a match. I think the fish has actually come off because I can't really feel a lot. So I think I'm just gonna have to come in through the top and try and knock the rig out with my net and see how we get on from there. So as I mentioned earlier on, I was fishing a heavy elastic down the inside, 14 to 16 because I want to try and steer those fish away from that little cutting bank going down the margin towards the next peg and steer them out into the main lake. But as you just saw, that 14 to 16 didn't really do anything as soon as I hooked that fish then. That fish was round that corner into that snag quicker than I could react. So I've built up another rig. I've gone straight through on 020 this time and I've pulled out some of my 18 bungee elastic just to hope that we can hit them fish and just take that initial run out of them through the power of the elastic and then guide them out into the lake. You know, not every fish is going to be 18 elastic worthy, but the ones that are, are going to need to land. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. So I've started picking up a few fish short now. Really starting to put a nice weight together, a nice mix of 
eyed little tench, but a few good carp as well. And it's making me think that, you know, the short pole for the day is, is gonna be the one. You know, starting short is a great way of, of not disturbing the fish that are in close. You're, you're catching fish there and you're bringing them to you. So you're not even going through your swim. carp and tench and iron on the short pole, six meters. What an overlooked tactic, tactic in matches and pleasure sessions. Use it next time you go out and you can bag up on every species in the lake.